so I'm just going to delete this. All right. Okay. So let's go to layer one. I'm just going to length match this thing. Okay. So from like to what what is the reference like what what should be the target length of the LPDDR4 that we are routing right and all this information is available on this sheet so it is saying uh, you can find this information here okay so they are talking about in term of picosecond but you can see uh, because what is the advantage of doing the length match anyone so with length match we'll remove two kind of problems one is the skew which is intra pair or inter pair skew right and we'll also remove delays which will cause the false triggering and inter simple interference you're getting it people who don't know which tool i'm using it is altem designer 22.1 and if you wanted to get the free trial of that tool i put link in the description you have to just click there and register yourself within 24 hours you'll get the license pdn Analyzer tool is a separate license from Altem Designer. So for that, I have put a separate link you have for, for purchasing PDN tool license. You have to click over that link. With that said, let's roll the intro. So uh, this is all the information that is important. And uh, okay, so let's see. It is saying the maximum intra pair skew of DQS. So no, right now it is just talking about the DQS signal. Okay. So we know that, right? We know that uh, that strobe signal is are the reference signal for DQs, right? And DQ is DQS or the strobe signal. Uh, sorry, the clock is the reference signal of DQS, right? So the same relation is given here. Let's see. So they are saying the maximum intra pair skew of DQS should be one picosecond. So that means DQ and DQS should be tightly length matched, right? Similarly, they are saying maximum skew between DQ and DQS should be five picosecond. Okay, so here they're talking about internal DQS and they're talking about DQ and DQS, right? Let's read the clock section. In the clock section, they are saying, so this is the clock, internal clock pairs and this is between the clock and dqs so you are saying that this is like everything is very correlated right again they have given the limit but will go for like ideal uh, length match that means uh, the length of each and every track either it is dq dqs either it is data mask or clock right or all the control signal each should be uh, tightly cup tightly length matched exact equal to the target length right similarly you can see uh, the control signal are also uh, length match to clock right and you will find uh, and command signal also length match to clock right so you can see uh, everything is length match to the clock signal right okay all right so here uh, i guess uh, okay so firstly let's see what is the length uh, so what you have to do Till now we have routed all the byte groups, right? And these are all the differential signals, uh, which is DQS, right? Uh, so let's see what is the length of the DQS. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. I guess clock signal I need to route. All the clock signals are in this section, clock and uh, address, I have to route that. But yeah, uh, for demonstration, I'm just going to use, so because DQ should be equal to the DQS. So let's do that from here. Again, this is not fixed until all the LPDR4 signal will be routed. Only then you can able to know, okay, uh, now we can go for this length matching. Okay, anyways, so you can see, let's suppose, uh, okay, let's check. This is uh, the total length is 30.157 mm. Okay, and let's see the length of this one. And this is the 36. So this is the maximum length of the uh, DQS signal out of all uh, uh, eight byte groups for both of the LPDDR4s, right? So 36.272, let's do that. Okay, so another step is spreading of the connections, right? Uh, what is that exactly? So uh, let's suppose this is the byte group one, 
right? And I have to length match that. So you can see uh, these are very small connections. If I'll select it, uh, it's a 13 mm, right? And what is the length we want? We want 36 point something, right? 36.2, right? 36.272. So uh, to implement that length, the another step is we have to spread all these connections. Okay, so to do that, what you have to do? to spread it like that. Right, you have to spread all these uh, byte group. Okay, so right now you can see it is it is almost 36, which is uh, kind of not required. But yeah, let's suppose its length is little bit le less, I'm just going to demonstrate that. Okay. So similarly, you have to spread all these byte groups. For example, now the next step is you have to spread this as well. And there should be enough space to place serpentine. Okay, so it should not be placed very close, right? It should be little bit, uh, there should be little bit gap. So you can, you know, place the serpentine there. All right. Right. So similarly, you have to spread all all these connections. Let's see. Uh, let's suppose uh, this is 33. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place the serpentine. Okay, so where we can place the serpentine, right, we can place here, right, we can place here. Uh, we can't place here because we have like very small space in this section, either we have to increase this cross section, this, you know, straight line length, and we can place here and here as well, right. So you have to think accordingly, for example, uh, this is 34. Let me show you that. Okay. Uh, we know that right, we know that we we we, uh, we are not going to, you know, place any route or any connections in this section, right. So there's no point to, uh, uh, you can say length match here. Okay, we have to length match in this section only. So for that, we can use anything. Uh, press tab, go for trombone, I'm just going to use this one. And uh, okay, before that, press tab, hold on. Okay, so what you have to do first, uh, when you place this thing, right, when you place that routing section, you have to enter the target length. Okay, so what was the target length? It is 36.25 mm. Enter. Okay, now it is entered. Now what you have to do? You have to double click on this and select which one you're going to use. Okay, so I've selected, I'm just going to use the trombone, right? Uh, in this cross section, you can see, uh, the, the radius is really huge here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce the radius. Because see, uh, step should be, uh, let's go for three mil. Alright. So again, uh, we know that like there is very small difference between uh, the target length and the actual length was uh, so it was around like two or three mm. But now you can see the length is exactly equal to uh, uh, the target length, right? So this is this is the one advantage of trombone, you can place that at one side of the uh, uh, you can say the connection, right? For this one, I'm I know that I'm going to route other tracks in this section, you're getting it. So that means it is good option to place uh, another length match section or you can say the serpentine which will be like more toward this section rather than this one. Right. Or another thing is just plan it. For example, uh, you're getting my point, right? For example, uh, we have to length match this track. Now we know that we're going to place the serpentine in this section. So there is no point of, uh, you know, so much space here. Right, because when you're going to spread all the connections, because this will be spread, uh, this will be spread in this section or in this section. Similarly, these all short connections will create a lot of issues. It will cover all this area here, right? Similarly, this will cover in this section, 
right? Because we have only three layer to route everything. So you have to plan accordingly, right? So there's no point or you can see you can reduce this section and increase the, uh, you can say length a little bit, right? So it will be like more com compact, right? Let's do that for this as well. So this time I'm going for serpentine. So press tab, accordion, just place it, double click. Uh, enter the target. So here you have to select the manual, right? Uh, let's adjust. So you have to put that did that space information from two times of the width, right? So what is the width right now? It is 0 0.082. Okay, so what will the two times of this one, it will be around 0 0.17, right? So 0 0.17 would be fine. Or this is again good, right? So let's do that. So you can see this is more toward uh, in this section rather than here because we know that we're going to route in this section, right? So I hope you people are getting my point and you have to spread all these connections and then do the length matching. And uh, clock should be length match uh, with the uh, data strobe signal, data strobe signal should be length match with uh, DQs, right? So everything should be with the same exact length for all the eight byte groups of both LPDDR4, okay? Uh, this is one thing. 